The Vergus Show is brought to you by Vergus State Bank, your locally owned full service bank. With two locations in Vergus and Perm, make the right call. Call Hansen's, the most trusted name in plumbing and heating. Spanky's Stone Heart, casual fine dining on the shores of beautiful Rose Lake. Hi, welcome to the Virga Show. I'm Sherry Hansen. Thanks for joining me today. And I'm here with Willie Humbeck. And you might wonder what the connection is. I mean, Willie's been so gracious to be on our show before and, and tell his life story. But, you know, Willie, today we're going to tell another life story or at least um, touch on it. I mean, how do you tell the whole story of Ron Goodman? Ron Goodman, longtime Virgus businessman, passed away on February 12th. And, um, we have a great video um, clip that we want to show you, um, showing some of his fun that he had with his TV three days. Um, I think the thing that I'd like to point out with that is he was having fun, but he also recognized the importance of advertising, not only his business, but advertising this community of Vergus because he loved Vergus. Um, once once he came to Vergus and became the grocer, I was um, I was quite younger, I will say that, and um, and I um, remember him, you know, taking over the grocery store. Um, I was very fortunate to be one of his 220 some employees, young kids that he um, did employ. Um, my children worked for him. Um, I'm, I'm sure many of you who are watching this either worked for him yourself or had children that worked for him. Um, but that, that was, you know, his work ethic that he passed on to all of those different kids that were working was, is just, um, you're going to see it in a lot of those young people today that are out in our communities and, and out in our business world. The other thing I'd like to point out about Ron that um, a lot of you may know or may not, but he was civic minded. He was a member of the community club, of the Vergus Lions. He was a member of um, the Boy Scout troop and the Methodist Church and the Lakes Fellowship Church. He worked for neighbor to neighbor. He was part of the DLJCs and he was Minnesota Grocers Hall of Famer and, and he helped with Looney Days. And anytime you wanted to promote the community of Vergus, um, and, and figure out some way to um, get people to know that things were happening in Vergas. Ron was a part of that. And so I think um, the community of Vergas is definitely better off because of Ron Goodman. And Willie, I, I want to hear your take on it because I know that when we were visiting about it, you don't know Ron Goodman as the businessman, as a community civic person. You know Ron Goodman, knew Ron Goodman as a friend. I uh, met Ron in 1972 when we came up from the cities on vacation mm -hmm. and on weekends. At that time, he was working for Evans. Oh, up in Detroit Lakes. In Detroit mm -hmm. Lakes. And so right away when we saw each other, somehow, you know, sure. we had a good feeling, I suppose, towards each other. Well, I mean, you're both very, I mean, you're not afraid to say, hi, how are you doing? So, uh, <laughs> I'm not shy. No, no, you're not. That's so, good. <laughs> anyway, then later on, I moved up. I quit my job in the cities and moved up here and started pedaling, you know. Mm -hmm. By the way, they called me Yankee Doodle Pedal on number one. You know? <laughs> so pedal is not in the street I sales, like that. <laughs> you know? I liked it too, uh -huh. and I kept it. So, and then... Uh, I had the first Lakeshore place I had on Lake Six. Mm -hmm. Then I moved over. I uh, I kept it, but I moved over because I liked Vergus so much. Over to East Loon Lake, mm -hmm. and then I saw around a lot because I bought all my stuff here. He had good lunch meats. He still has. Oh, definitely, their meat market By the way, is the it's best. It's a wonderful store, so clean. You yes, know. yes, it is. And uh, yeah, then we got you know on and off together and. Uh, so, but the, the most important story about Ron was a wonderful, big-hearted human being he was. Mm -hmm. Tell you the story about my eyes. Uh, therefore, while well, you know, everybody was, I lost my eyesight, mm -hmm. and I don't know how he found out. He came right away over to our place. See, they put me right away with my wife in mm -hmm. assistant living. Yeah. And every day and every day he came and, you know, drove me wherever. There were even times <clears throat> I didn't have to go any place, but we were together. He and would take you out. Then it became a wonderful friendship. And what a man with such big heart. I mean, I do have many friends, but I have to pick him out. He was a 
Well, and I mean, he didn't have to do that, come pick you up and take you driving that, and, and around. That's what I mean by that, right. you know. And I mean, because I'm sure he, we all know Ron's work ethic and how he had so much going on himself, but he recognized, um, he recognized that you had a need and he could fill it. And, and I think that's what we're, um, what, you know, is, is um, the community of Burgess is going to miss the most, um, but with the passing of Ron, is, is that big heart. For sure, I miss him. And yes, I know you had said that, and and so I, I think we, as you watch this clip of Ron, and and um, the best thing that can happen is just smile and, and and those memories of walking into the grocery store, looking over at the meat counter, and right behind there, there stood Ron with that nice big smile, the white shirt, the white apron on, and um, he always had a hello for you. Yeah, but a giving person he was. Very giving person. Yeah. So, so Willie, we're going to miss our friend. Um, we we are very fortunate to have known him, and I think the community of Vergas is very fortunate to have have had him as a part and a leader of this community. And um, so, a leader, friend, and enjoy this vi video clip and come to Vergas and say hi to us. You yeah. have a good day. This is what's happening in Vergas, and I'm Ronnie Goodman. You know I already had to kill three flies, two male and one female. Why is that? Do you know how I knew? No. Well, the two male were on my beer can, yeah. and the female was on the phone. <laughs> and what about oh. the meat specials? What do you got for meat oh, today? Oh, we got some meat bargains just in time for Mother's Day. Goodman Supermarket, here we have some great Thanksgiving savings. And some of those items are Jenny Old Turkey, that's gonna be 79 <laughs> cents a pound. What, what do we got here? Oh my Holy gosh, look cat. Here. There's that you, Mr. Goodman. Oh, we were hoping you'd just still be Edith, here. Edith, Ethel, and Edith, I haven't seen you for years. Well, we, I, I thought you died. Well, no, we've been away. I've been out west. Yeah, I see you're shrunk a little bit. Yeah, and uh, I was out, you know, riding a cowboy, saving a horse. Oh my And word. we're out there at the Mardi Gras. Oh, you put uh, the Mardi Gras. Yeah. Oh, my oh word. man, I tell you all my love beads. <laughs> but what you got going here for Goodman Supermarket? Oh, man, I yeah. tell you, they got specials on for Thanksgiving. Well, And goodbye from the grumpy old man. <laughs>